So hello everyone, my name is Michael Ingledew. I'm all about making you successful with your technical documentation for your organization. Now, welcome to this week's first ever Five Minute Friday, where I'm going to take some tools, some software, or some compa some capability that I think would be interesting to you, and I believe it may add value to your technical information day. But before we do, let's run the intro, and I'll tell you what we're going to do this week. That's it. Welcome to this week's Five Minute Friday. And I want to talk this week about the new Adobe Technical Communication Suite 2019 Adobe Frame Maker. Now, before we move into that, full disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by, supported, endorsed or requested by Adobe in any way. This is my opinion and showing you how I use these tools for TDW and how I advise some of my clients how to use these tools. And I know some of you are using or considering using Adobe Frame Maker. So 2019, unless you've been hiding under a rock, it was announced a couple of weeks ago. Major update to Frame Maker, major update to RoboHelp and all those kind of things. All of this stuff we're going to come on to. But I want to look at today Frame Maker. Now, if you haven't heard, it is now completely 64 bit compliant which means that it's using all of your system resources it's using all of the capability that your computer may have your modern computers may have now that means that this is actually pretty lightning quick it now opens up very very quickly and i can access documents very very quickly which is something that was a little bit sluggish in the past not so bad now very good now in FrameMaker, looking at the screen, I really like the way that Adobe is all about trying to make you successful. So quick access to document types and what it is you might want to do or access to external resources to help you be successful using this tool, whether that's blogs, webinars, white papers, which reminds me there's an Adobe webinar coming up shortly, which uh, if you are interested is going to go through some of the TCS stuff. I'll put a link below and this five minute Friday. But what I want to talk about down here is connecting to a repository. Now, previously, FrameMaker did allow you to connect to SharePoint, but didn't allow you to connect to SharePoint online. Now, what do I mean by that? Is that many organizations have their own licenses of SharePoint installed locally, installed on a VPN or something along those lines. But we use what is known as Office 365 and Office 365 comes with a license of SharePoint and we can share documents amongst us here in the team or we can share them externally with customers. Now, previous version of FrameMaker didn't connect to the 365 version of SharePoint. It does now and that has made a significant change to our workflow we can now work with documents so this tutorial three minutes in i want to talk to you about connecting to a repository so you have a number of options available to you the one that we are specifically interested in is sharepoint online now you will have a server link if you are using 365. I've blurred ours out for obvious reasons, but you will have a unique link. Now, the thing that Adobe told us when we went through configuring this and researching to do this tutorial is that you really have to be explicit about which repository you want to go to. And we couldn't connect for a long time, but all we had to do was type the word documents and it may complain in fact it will complain because i've already connected but for the purposes of this video i'm going to show you that over on my other screen it's asking me for a password which i'm not going to show you for obvious reasons and what will happen is it will head off and it will go and grab our access to our sharepoint and right over here on the left hand side, we now have access to all of the documents that are within our particular repository. Now, we haven't put anything in here. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it was now to access your 
365 online with Adobe FrameMaker 2019. Something that is going to significantly improve our workflow and the workflow of our customers. Now, let me know. What is it you would like me to talk about on these 5-Minute Fridays? Put a comment below. What would you like me to go over for you? What would you like me to do a tutorial on? We have had some robo help type questions come into us, which we will also look at. But that's how you connect your Adobe FrameMaker to your SharePoint Online 365 subscription. I'm Michael Inglewood, and I'm all about making you successful with your technical information. Thumbs up if you like, subscribe. If you don't like it, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to change the style or what it is that we look at. So um, until the next 5-Minute Friday, I'll figure out what we're going to look at. Speak to you soon.